Recording? All right, here we go. Hustle, Les uh, lesson number three on West Coast Swing. Um, we talked about doing not, not, not so much spinny things, so we talked about doing a grapevine, which we're gonna start off in closed position with a slot traveling this way, and I'm just gonna do a break stop on end one, and one close the door on two, and we're gonna cross on three. <laughs> Let's try this again, ready? And one step behind. Now we're gonna do and two, cross and two. And two cross, step back. We're gonna do it again. And one, two, three, and front. So I can do this any number of times. I can do it and one, two, three, and four, five, six, and one. I can keep coming back as many times as I want. I can use it to get out of the way. A couple of the key features is here is I'm actually leading my follow back, and she's got just enough tone in her arm to feel that for and one. I'm pulling the hand down, not pulling it in, and I'm going to push both. Two, three. On five, and four, five, I'm stepping right between my partner's feet. Six. It's going to make my life a lot easier. Same thing in a closed basic. Um, two, I'm stepping between my partner's feet. And one. Two, three, and one, two, three. I don't have to look down, I know where my feet are, I know where lilies are. The other thing we introduced real quick was just a quick tuck, turn, and release. So I was gonna come in, and one, tuck. I'm stepping behind my partner, opening up on three. And as I do this again, I'm going to lead and one, and one, two, back to close. So all together, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. The other thing I can do is, and one, two, three, and catch the arm. Let my partner know what's coming up, three. Otherwise, I can stay in open position if I wanted to. I can also do the tuck turn tool. And that's just more stuff we can add in there. Yeah, thank you very much for our little community. Thank you, Lily.